Holocaust Memorial Day is obviously being marked very differently this year. The pandemic means that none of us are able to gather in person. Instead, many of the usual commemorations are taking place online. I very much welcome the fact that they are going ahead in this format because Holocaust Memorial Day is a hugely important occasion. It is an opportunity to honour the victims of the Holocaust and subsequent genocides in Cambodia, Rwanda, Bosnia and Darfur. And as such, it reminds us of the persecution people have suffered for their ethnicity, religious belief, disability or sexual orientation. But today also has another purpose, and it is one which is summed up very well by this year's chosen theme. Be the light in the darkness highlights the responsibility we all have to promote truth and tolerance and reject prejudice and division. In recent times, we've been reminded of why that is so important. In societies around the world, the forces of intolerance have become much more apparent, and that is something we must take incredibly seriously. A few years ago, I took part in a visit to Auschwitz. I was there with around 200 pupils from across Scotland. And the experience of being there in the camp and seeing the piles of hair, shoes and suitcases is one that I, and I am sure those with me, will never, ever forget. The Holocaust and the other atrocities that we mark and remember today must serve as a warning to all of us. They show what can happen when intolerance and prejudice is left unchallenged and when hate is given free reign. And they remind all of us of the need to tackle lies and prejudices wherever and whenever we come across them. Those are lessons which it is important to pass on to the next generation. The young people of today will, after all, shape the kind of society we have in the future. But of course, all of us need to understand and apply those lessons in our daily lives. We must continue to strive to build a better, more tolerant society and a safer, more peaceful world. And through our words and our actions, we must continue to try to be the light wherever there is darkness. So on this important day, let us remember the victims of the Holocaust. Let us also remember the victims of the genocides in Cambodia, Rwanda, Bosnia and Darfur. And in their memory, let us recommit ourselves to building a world where such atrocities can and do never happen again.